Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friend in this video i'm basically going to show you that how you can prepare your server for yourself when you are planning to install backup access in your environment as well as if you are a implementation engineer and planning to you know uh, install or deploy uh, backup access server in one of the customer place then what are the documents needs to be prepared so this is these are the two things which i'm going to cover in this video so without further ado let's get started after this small intro video hey welcome back guys guys just to you know show you that when you go to the administrator guide it has all the information mentioned like what are the things are required before you start with your backup access installation so just go through with this once okay uh, no worries guys i'll also show you the my excel which is custom one in which i have you know mentioned all the details which are required but this is just for the your information that where you can find all these details okay so everything is captured from the backup exist administrator guide and one more thing guys uh, so many people are facing issue with their backup is this application that uh, the deployment or one of the service or one of the functionality is not works as expected okay in their environment so in this situation what you can do you can simply you know refer this article 10,019.16 okay so it's, this will give the little bit of idea based on the error code which you are getting okay so it will give the like what are the user rights or permissions are required for backup this agent to run smoothly okay so just refer this article number okay and below that it has all the information which is required for example here is active directory so what are the things required for active directory so it required or the user that we are using in a backup exist it has to be member of domain admin group so similarly you can refer the other details okay now let's come to the actual point which i wanted to show you in this uh, video so for that let me minimize this guys so this is quite old document because in later document i have mentioned all the customer uh, you know uh, uh, in prior details so i cannot show you that but just for your reference i am showing the older document so as you could see here you can mention the customer name and the shit name should be existing environment so you can gather the details in uh, perspective of backup like this okay like client opening system server opening system how many offices they have is there any remote office okay and what are the applications present in their environment once you gather this uh, details from the customer then as a next step you can ask customer that what exactly you want to do with the backup exists so they will say that i want to backup x y z application like oracle uh, database and how many oracle database present in the, their environment so you can you know cross question all these uh, you know uh, things to customer apart from uh, that oracle what, uh, what are the other things you want to backup so he will say okay i want to backup exchange server okay and where you want to store all the backup so here is the example so customer said that i want to store all the backup to the local disk because they don't have any type uh, library or type drive okay so this is where you can you know capture all the information and it's very useful when you are you know evaluating customer for the license also so we, with this you know kind of uh, information when you ask customer you will be able to size their licensing properly now in the next step once all the things are uh, completed then uh, you can you know prepare your plan of action or as well as the scope of work how exactly you are going to proceed with the implementation uh, for example the required backup exists license so it has to be shared by customer because customer is going to pay at the end so they are the right person to follow up with the partner companies or your company and get the license done so that you can start with the implementation then hardware for the backup exists right so what are the uh, standalone server you, you are going to propose to the customer what is ram hard disk cpu required as well as the operating system so those has to be prepared by customer right and one of the administrator account required backup exists uh, application media to be downloaded so the responsibility is you know fall with you as well as customer you can share the link with customer or you can ask customer to download the latest version uh, from the virtas support uh, site or you can uh, you know bring this copy to the customer place during the implementation then verification of bomb bill of material which means whatever they mentioned in the invoice whether customers really received all these things in their uh, licensing portal or not then guys i'm just explaining all these things with you know one of the implementation which i have done in couple of years ago 
okay but if you are implementing this product right now then you just have to tweak a little bit of things okay not more than this and as i said i cannot show you my latest document just because it has a customer environment and i it will take lots of time for me to edit all the things so that's the reason i'm referring the older document but if you want the latest document then what you can do you can simply join the silver and above membership and uh, just request the document and i'll provide you that the link is available in the comment box below which is pinned where you can join uh, my membership and take the benefit of the latest document now installation of backup exists so this is how your implementation is going to be performed okay now in the next uh, step uh, next sheet we have i have shown all the things which is required for the server so it's completely depend on the customer environment and how many things you're going to back up okay accordingly you can you will be able to size the server what are the you know system requirement what are the things to has to be present into the system then where exactly you are going to install the backup of the server so similarly you can prepare your own sheet now uh, in the terms of network right so what are ports needs to be allowed so it that can be found here i don't know whether this uh, url is accessible or not right now because it was older document then hardware compatibility list as well as software compatibility list so that he will get to know if it has any uh, hardware whether that is compatible like tape library or any other drive so he can a customer will be able to identify from this list similar way software compatibility list it has all the operating system details and uh, supportability information whether this is supported by backup is this or not and following are the some user rights which are required during the backup and uh, restoration process which is required by the backup is this okay so that uh, our agent will get full admin rights on the system now let me show you another document as you could see in the very first column i have given the complete information that what are the things are available into the my entire excel sheet and in very next sheet i have mentioned all the things like how exactly the server customer environment would be so i have you know draw one diagram which will give the clear idea to the customer that how exactly you are where exactly your backup exists like server will be placed in your environment and how it's going to be protect it was older document guys at that time i was not you know that much of good with the visual studio that's the reason you know i have prepared this diagram in this way but now it's uh, very much better now at the next page backup exists server compatibility so we can install backup exists server in any of this operating system okay but i guess 2008 these are the you know operating system will get eliminated eliminate okay because it's no more supported by our it's already end of life so we have to replace with the latest one similar way if i go to the backup exist agent operating system then these are the operating system which are supported and these are the editions so this is how you can prepare the document let me tell you the benefit of this okay so whenever you share uh, supportability you know in custom format the like excel okay to the customer then uh, after selling uh, the license or implementation uh, during or after implementation if customer come back to you hey my this particular os is uh, windows xp which is not supported right or windows server 2003 which is not supported by backup like this so if the customer complaints like this then you can so at that time you can always go with this document and you can showcase that we have already shared all the supported platform and there is nowhere mention that 2003 operating system is supported by backup like exists okay so likewise you will have to be prepared as much as perfect as you can okay to avoid the further consequences now in the next page instant recovery so minimum requirement of use the instant recovery so these are the you know information i have mentioned here this is also we are going to learn in our series agent for application database because he mentioned they have exchange server as well as uh, oracle server so i have you know mentioned all the things where what are the things are supported by backup like this like in which version okay so similar way you can also prepare your one now at the end agent for virtualization platform requirements so here again i have you know given the little bit of more information to the customer so that's how basically guys you can prepare your document and this is what the prerequisite is so you can you know share this data with customer or you can prepare for yourself while you, you know creating server for the backup like this and once you are done then in next video i will show you how exactly you can perform the installation of your backup like this server in your environment or customer environment 
सो गाइज दैट्स इज इन दिस वीडियो एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू शेयर दिस डॉक्यूमेंट विथ यू लाइक स्कोप ऑफ वर्क और प्रोनोपेक्शन देन क्लिक ऑन द ज्वाइन बटन एंड दिस डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द सिल्वर मेंबरशिप एंड जस्ट नोट गाइज आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग द सिल्वर मेंबरशिप इफ यू स्टिल अनेबल टू फाइंड द दिस डॉक्यूमेंट द लेटेस्ट डॉक्यूमेंट विच आई हैव ओके देन यू कैन सिंपली ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड यू कैन पिंग मी बिकॉज इन माई टेलीग्राम ग्रुप आई हैव अलाउड द कमेंट्स so you can feel free to type your queries there and i'll provide the immediate document to you guys after validating your membership and guys as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share this video with friends colleague and subscribe this channel okay and also please share your feedback whether you like this video dislike it or anything you want me to improve or add feel free to comment everything so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out I'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye